Audrey received her commercial license on December 24, 2018, an achievement that has brought her fulfillment. But this feat didn't come easily at all. A number of times, I thought I didn't want to do it again. But when I, it's like, when I look back and see where I've got it to and how far I have to go, I'm like, oh, like we are almost done. Like it's almost left with it. And before I know it, it's like you just keep on going and going. And at times it was really tough. And I thought that, oh, it's true. What people were saying that women can't do it, maybe it's true. So like I should just step back. Growing up, she always wanted to be either an athlete or a pilot. For her, her decision to be an athlete was born out of the fact that she was one of the best athletes in her school. But she quickly found her new love for wanting to be in the air. I was like nine years old and in class four at the University of Ghana Basic School. And there's this frequent question society would always ask you, like, what do you want to be in the future? And then, yeah, I just had to say to be a pilot. And again, in the beginning, I was really quiet. So I thought pilots, like you just have to be in the cockpit and probably the passengers will be behind you. So like you keep quiet. But during my flight training, we really talk a lot. In the beginning, it was just saying something big, like close to being a doctor or a lawyer. And then with time, I, I was convinced that I could actually do it. Like that's what I'm supposed to do. And then, yeah. Oh, I also wanted to be different. Because when they call doctors in class, there are a lot of people that are standing up, lawyers, no. But being a pilot, and when I stand in class, they are like, wow. So it's like the wow thing kept me moving. Not everyone bought into her idea of wanting to be a pilot. They thought this was a risky job. But her nuclear family thought otherwise. They gave her all the support needed. Out of this passion... Audrey enrolled at the Makwan Aviation Academy in Johannesburg, South Africa, in August 2015. With determination and hard work, she continued and on the 4th of April 2016, she had her first solo flight. That same year, she got her private pilot license. To go solo, you are required to, to take off and land on your own. And it's more like flying a rectangle. And... The first time I was asked to go solo, I didn't see it coming. And it's only on the downwind parts. It's like if you have a rectangle, the other longer parts, yeah. It was only on the downwind parts, I realized that my flight instructor wasn't on board. And it really scared me, cause I'm like, okay, I'm fancy. So like, I mean, yeah, like, is this me? And then just before I landed again, I got scared that it's going to be my first time doing it with nobody on board. It really made me feel fulfilled. She began having a bumpy ride as she progressed. Audrey almost gave up on her dream. She failed some of her papers and almost gave into the wrong assertion that this was a job for men. A number of times, pair one, sometimes I guess it may be on the second attempt. And others, it could take like after two months for me to retry it again. And if it doesn't work, the next two months and then I probably get Did it. Oh yeah, it did, because at those times, that's when the thoughts come to mind that, oh, maybe it's true, like, this thing is not for me. Like, I could also do something else at Legon or something, like, let me do something easier. Now today, at the age of 21, she's the youngest commercial pilot in Ghana. Her passion has led to the creation of Excel Aviation Company to empower women especially to aspire to move into the aviation sector. I have a lot of plans to help women in my country to go into the aviation sector. There are lots of opportunities in the aviation sector for women especially, but they don't have the information at hand and then the guidance to show them how to do it or the requirements for it. I happened to register a company, Excel Aviation, and that's the purpose of the company, yes. With the acquisition of her commercial license now, Audrey hopes to be an airline pilot with her ultimate aim 
of being a captain and flying the Airbus A380 one day.